Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of it's relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it's relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. Second round of bank earnings season. This time we've got NAB, and they've come out with a $3.48 billion cash profit, their preferred measure, to 4.1% growth year on year, and it's a beat on expectations. The other thing to say, it's very impressive because this is the largest interim profit the bank has ever delivered. And that also is very clear in the fact they've now jumped up their interim dividend to 73 cents. That's from 60 cents last year and the 68 cents you got in the final year of FY21. Impressive. There's no doubt about an other word to use than that alone. If you have a look, you've seen very strong growth above system in business, which is what you would expect. NAB is the business bank around there. But at 1.3 times above system, that's a really, really solid number. Then you look at what they're also doing on the retail side and lending. That lending jump is really, really strong, but they did actually see about an 8% fall in net numbers. There is a rumor going around that NAB is sort of foregoing existing customers for new ones, and therefore they're actually seeing net movement that is a little bit higher than you were hoping. And that may have been the negative and may explain, may explain why they actually fell on the day. Because overall, as I said, it's an incredible turnaround story. This was a troubled bank, had big, big issues with what was going on over the UK, and they spit that out into the Yorkshire Clydesdale Bank. They've also had issues over the last couple of years around making sure that their net interest margins were maintained. All of that has changed under Ross McEwen in the last two years shows that NAB is probably now more in comparison in an operation sense as it is with CBA than in what it used to be compared to, which was Westpac and ANZ. And today's results clearly show that that is indeed fact and likely to remain fact for the foreseeable future.